Hey friends, it's Leslie. Welcome back to Holistic Health at Home. It is day 16 of this juice feast. First off, I'm sorry for not checking in yesterday. I was exhausted and I really needed a rest from recording, but I am back today with another update. Really nothing major to report, so I wanted to just step right into today's topic of what you can do whenever you feel like giving up. This is completely normal. Most people going through any kind of detox or deep clean or a diet program for that matter knows the real struggle whenever the feeling of wanting to give up starts setting in. So let's talk today about things that you can do to help reevaluate where you are and change that mindset. Whenever we feel like giving up, we need to stop, take a deep breath and reevaluate what we're doing and why. Remind yourself of why you got started in the first place and determine whether or not that still resonates with you. It is okay if it doesn't. Again, only the ego really cares about being right. Only the ego really cares about proving to other people what you did or how you did it. And at the end of the day, most people don't care. I feel it's helpful to reference my day six video on balance and I believe my day 11 video on listening to your body. These are really important things to remember and to keep in mind with all aspects of life. Always honor your body and mind where you are right now. There's no shame in that. Have goals in mind, continually work toward those goals, but always along that journey, reevaluate where you are and if you are satisfied with where you are. If you're not, you can make changes to get to where you want to be, but you don't have to get there overnight. Which brings me to, again, listening to your body and bringing balance into your life. I bring this topic up because it is something that has been on my mind the last few days. Now, whenever that feeling does start to come up, it's very natural for that initial feeling to be linked to cravings or the desire to eat. But if that feeling persists over the course of several days, it is important to stop Take a look at that feeling and really dig into it and ask yourself, why am I continuing to do this? Do I still feel it's necessary to continue in this fashion or does my body need something else? And I have found that uh, whenever you start getting into detox, it's really important to learn how to bob and weave. <laughs> detox is a dance and there's this natural ebb and flow that you have to find uh, what works for your body. Because again, we all have very unique lymphatic congestion and genetic weakness. And what one person can do seemingly fairly easily, another person may find extreme difficulty in. And so the comparison game doesn't do anyone any good. Rather than compare yourself to anyone else, compare where you are now to where you are when you started. And this is why I find it really helpful to keep track of your biometrics. Take whatever readings are important to you, whether that is your weight, your blood pressures, your blood sugar, what have you. Keep track of those at the beginning, the middle, and the end of your journey so you have those concrete observations that you can compare against and only compare yourself to yourself. That way, you're not comparing apples to oranges and giving an unfair view of your journey against someone else's. Going over the last few days, I have questioned myself whether or not my desire to end this juice feast has simply been due to cravings from uh, our impromptu Olive Garden date. But at this point, I'm past those cravings. I, that's really not the issue at hand. I'm finding that as I sit quietly with myself and reevaluate my why, the why no longer resonates with where I'm at now. And I find zero shame in this, friends. And this is something that I want to get through to you along your journey because 
I, I see this time and time again where a lot of individuals get started on a new path, a new journey. It doesn't necessarily have to be regenerative detoxification. It could simply be trying to eat healthier, uh, incorporating more exercise, starting meditation, what have you. Uh, it's very easy to get really excited and then to burn out and then to not want to touch it ever again. And friends, I've seen it in myself. I've seen it in friends, family, co-workers, and clients. And it's a pattern that I really, really want to see end. So rather than beating ourselves up over having a lofty goal and realizing that either our bodies or our minds are not quite ready for that depth yet, let's start reframing that and just reevaluating where we are. Again, only the ego cares about proving what you can do or being right. What I'm realizing those closest in my circle need now more than ever is an example of how to live a healthier lifestyle without completely radically changing their lifestyle. It is still very possible to incorporate the principles of regenerative detoxification in our everyday lives while still maintaining some semblance of a normal life. I don't want anyone to feel like they have to seclude themselves in the woods for a solid year just so they can clean out their bodies. If anything, I want to encourage simple easy changes in your everyday life that you can do at home with simple tools and simple know-how so you can implement healthier habits and reap true health benefits. With current work demands and juggling family life, I need more grounding right now. But when I feel ready, I can certainly dig back in. And next time, I may feel ready to dig in a little bit deeper, a little bit longer. And that's generally how it goes. So with tomorrow's video, I will show you how to properly break a fast and transition back to eating solid foods. I am very excited about this. <laughs> Remember, balance. Listen to your body. And when you do feel like giving up, stop. Take a deep breath and reevaluate what you're doing and why. It's okay for your why to no longer resonate with you. It's okay to have a change of heart or to realize that a past goal no longer resonates with where you are now. After all, it's about progress, not perfection. Thanks again for joining me on day 16 of this Juice Feast, friends. I will see you tomorrow. If you're looking for any kind of assistance on your health journey, send me a message on my website at holtalks.com. That is H-O-L-T-O-X.com. I'm Leslie, sending you love and health.